Okay guys, things are about to get really crazy. My name is Robert Eastman, Hawk Zero I007. Many of you know me, have met me, have went to school with me, we're friends, we're roommates, whatever. Now I need your voice, I need your ear, okay? Because things got real, real quick. Um, over the past week, you have seen two things. Gay marriage was legalized in the Supreme Court, and the Confederate flag is being up in arms about, like, people hate it, people say it's racist, blah, blah, blah. First thing, gay marriage. This is the landmark decision of 2015. This is the crucial event of this year. This is the most important thing human history has witnessed in America in a long time. I'm going to dive right into it. You're not going to believe this. The article I just tagged you in says that I want gay married people to be able to defend the marijuana plants with their concealed carry guns. Whatever. Okay? You got that? Now let me dive right into this for you. This is what it says. The legal argument for recognizing gay marriage in all 50 states is basically that since gay marriage is already legal in a majority of states, that the right cannot be infringed by the remaining states which oppose gay marriage. If all things are to remain consistent, equal protection must apply to all things concealed carry permits as well, as a majority of states have legalized concealed carry permits. So, the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, Section 1, states... No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. This have nullified gun control laws by legalizing gay marriage. That's how freedom is supposed to work. You can't pick your favorite things and exclude the rights of others. All things are to remain truly consistent and follow this president. The right of the people to keep and bear arms, hold concealed carry permits, shall not be infringed. Whew. Now, how crazy is this? Let me switch hands real quick. Okay. Let me dive right into this. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, everybody, share, 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 and share a freaking again because this is going to change everything. Let me explain the legal argument. There are only three, four things you need. The Constitution of the United States, the Federalist Papers, six things, the state constitution, republic, or commonwealth where you live, and Blacks or Bovier's Law Dictionary. Once you get those things, and I think I mentioned the Citizen's Rule Book, once you have all these things in hand, you go to my YouTube page, click on Constitution 101 Playlist, click on Carl Miller, the guy with the POW hat, and you dive right into those six hours of video. So you don't need to do this, I'll explain it real quick. What this means is that the rights of the people are derived by two things, nature or God. That's it. That means that the state, the federal, and the local municipalities have no right to tell you what you can and cannot do. They cannot license it. They cannot give you a permit for it. They cannot define it for you because it is yours from nature or God. They don't have jurisdiction over it. Period. Explanation point. Moving on. That means that once you have a right, it cannot be removed, abolished, infringed, altered, or subparagraphed. You cannot have stipulations upon that right. You cannot lose that right by a felony. You cannot lose that right in the court. You cannot lose that right by their edicts. That means you cannot go to the marriage office and file for a marriage license. That means you cannot go to the DMV and get a license to drive a vehicle. That does not that means you do not have to have marijuana prescriptions to get medical marijuana because they just legalized it in all 50 states because there are over 15 now Maybe more states that have medical and recreational marijuana. There are two states that do not have concealed carry permits. There are two states that do not require insurance. I think, I think Nevada and one other state um, with the concealed carry permits. There are three states, Colorado, Washington, and Arizona, or in, uh, Alaska, which do not require permits or licenses right now under this uh, verdict to grow pot. It's recreational. Moving on, pot is legal. Guns are now legal without permit, registration, insurance, or anything like that. Cars, um, property tax overturned, income tax gone, and the list goes on and on, etc., etc. Everything that you thought was controlled by the federal government, the Controlled Substance Act, out the window, the Firearms Act, gone, uh, the DMV code, gone, speed limits, gone, um, stopping for buses, gone. This is... This is a president which literally has overturned the judicial system of the United States and granted 100% of our perceived and actual freedoms back to us overnight. And while they did this, they passed, hold on, they passed the Trans-Pacific Partnership. 
They think they won a huge victory over us. They think they have taken our economic freedom, our ability to make money, our ability to sustain ourselves, buy houses, buy cars, buy guns and ammunition in one fell swoop with doing this. Do you understand the ramifications of the de this decision? Once you have a citizen's rule book, once you have Bovier's Law Dictionary, once you research Carl Miller and put these pieces of the legal puzzle together, you will have the tools you need to defend yourself as any lawyer and any court in this land. They do not have the power, the time, the money, or want the publicity of you dragging them through the mud all the way back up to the federal judiciary level and striking down gay marriage. They support it so much that they have given you all the tools you need to win once and for all, all of your freedoms back. Now many of you will say this is anarchy, this is going to destroy our country, this, this is dangerous. No, this is incredible. This is literally the most important thing we have witnessed in the United States in I don't know how long. They have effectively handed the torch back to us and said, you know what, we give up. We surrender. We have no hope. Thank you to all the vocal people who have stood up and said, we want the right to get married because guess what? I'm straight and I don't need a marriage license. You're gay, you don't need a marriage license. They bit themselves in the ass with this one so bad. The IRS can't come knocking at our doors and say, you need to prove you're married. Fuck off. I have a right to marriage. That doesn't require a license. The Supreme Court said so. Marbury versus Madison said so. The Constitution of the United States, United States of America and my state said so. Go fuck yourself. The United States of America is free once again. And we, the people of the United States, are truly the champions of our own destiny once again. Our children and our grandchildren can live in freedom and prosperity and not in fear of the government anymore. If we act on this now, if we share this to every corner of this country, and we do not stop and we do not surrender and we do not quiver in fear, but fight in the courtrooms, in the halls of justice, and never give up, we will win. We will not surrender. As Winston Churchill said, we will fight them on the beaches. We will fight them to our dying breath. I'm paraphrasing here. Thomas Jefferson said, or one of our founders said, that the tree of liberty must be refreshed by the blood of patriots and tyrants alike. Martin Luther King said, judge a man not by the content or color of his skin, by the content of his character. These are great men and women of our history. We can change the future here and now with this decision. We have the tools. I'm giving you the knowledge. It's yours to do with what you will. Don't take my words lightly. Cast this video aside and say, I don't have time for it. I'm not strong enough. I'm not smart enough. Bullshit. We have two choices now. Move forward or give up. I suggest you make yours. There's a lot riding on us. Thank you, and God bless the Constitutional Republic of the United States.